Good morning goat lovers, this is Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. I had a lot of questions as far as how to set your goat up and how to work your goat and get them ready for a show. So I have a little bit here, she's going to help us out and just give you guys a few pointers. So for starters, you're always going to want to have your choker collar in the ring. Um, it's very beneficial as well when you're training them to have that choker collar. It gives you a lot more control of the goat and you're going to have it all the way up to under their jaw there. Uh, so when you're in the ring, the judge is always going to be viewing the right side of the goat. You're always going to be on the opposite side of the, the judge so that at all times the judge can see the full goat. So in other words, the goat is in the middle, you're on the left side of the goat, and the judge is going to be viewing the right. So to set your goat up properly, again, you're going to have this all the way up under their chin. Make sure their head is forward. They're pretty ornery about it, and uh, you want their neck to be good and long. Now their front legs, stop girl, their front legs, you're going to go from their shoulder and you want it to be directly underneath them. So you're going to position them directly underneath. And then their back legs, you want their pins to line up with their hawk there. So you're going to position that back leg so it's a straight line from the pin to the hawk here as well. And you want it to be a little bit, uh, have a little distance between it so that the udder has room. Oh my goodness. You stop. They tend to work a little better with you in the ring than when they're here and they want to just go back to their pen and they're at home, they hear their goat friends hollering at them. Make sure you keep putting their head forward. You don't want them to, to have their head wobbling all around. You want to be able to see that long body, that long neck. So once they're set up, uh, you're going to drop them just a little bit and how you drop them Come on, girl. <laughs> this is literally working your goat. You're going to be just trying to get them to be set up over and over and over again. And they get more comfortable with it. <laughs> they get the hang of it. And let me just show you guys a, a tip that works sometimes. If they're getting restless, they won't stop moving. Walk them in a circle, and then set them back up. This girl is being a little ornery, but that's okay because it gives you guys a good example. She does not want her legs back there. <laughs> A little bit. You want the goat to know that you are in charge. Don't let them win. You just keep working them. And again, it tends to work better in the ring when they're not familiar with the surroundings. All right, we're gonna walk her back out. those back legs up. You're looking for that straight line from the pin to the hawk. You do not want their legs out here like this. That is not properly stood. Nor do you want their front legs out like that. You want to try to make them have their legs underneath them as much as they will allow. Their neck long and pretty. And then again, how I was saying, we're going to want to drop them a little so that their back is more level. So you take your fingers and you're just going to scratch right there. Just kind of scratch right there and it drops them. So you guys can see that so that their back is straight. And now she's going to pee. So 
she's leaning on me. She's getting very restless. If you work your goat for 30 minutes or so a day for a couple of weeks, you'll be pretty ready for the show. They get a lot more familiar with it. And again, just drop her, makes her back nice and level. Her back feet are no longer good. And that is how you set a goat up for, for a judge in the ring. Now the judge is also going to come around and want to see the back end. So she'll have you walk away so she can see how the goat walks. And she's going to want to see the udder. So of course you're not going to be standing here where she can't see it. You position their legs, feet pointing forward at all times. You're going to position their legs and their front. Even though she's just looking at the back, you still want their body set up nice. Now, a little bit is only about a six hour fill right now. If I was in the show, she'd have at least 12 hours. So her udder will be bigger. You don't want their feet spread apart like that so that the udder's just dangling there. You want it to be to where the inside of their legs are actually just barely hugging hugging the udder. And then you set the goat up as good as possible. You're gonna drop them. And then the judge will be looking at her back end. So you wanna be in the front of the goat, just like so. If she moves, if she's um, being on her and moving around, you just continually fix fix the goat to always be standing there properly. So that is how you're going to work your goat. You're just going to continually do it over and over and over again um, until they just get familiar with it. If they don't like it, they're never going to be exactly perfect for you in the ring. So you just keep setting them up just like that. Um, hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, please comment them. Uh, thank you for watching. We are going to go to a show this weekend and I'll get actual footage of us at the show. Hopefully that'll help a lot more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like my page.